Okay. Can we turn the volume down so that if you want to hear it again, you can? Um, I'm not in it, am I? Can you see that, Jasmine? Right, this side, if I sit here. Yeah. Okay, right, so the first one, it says, complete the table for values like this. It's a calculator allowed paper, so what you do, yes, miss? Yes, she is. So you put in minus four into this value, but you make sure you put it in brackets, so it's minus four squared plus two times minus four, and then minus three at the end. You type it in like that into the calculator, and you change all the others from minus three, minus two, minus one, etc. you'll get the right answers out. Minus four squared is some positive 16, take eight is eight, take three, you get five. Can someone else read me the rest of the answers, please? Zero. Yeah. Minus three. Yeah. Minus four. Yeah. Minus three. Yeah. Zero. Five. Good. Okay, so that's two marks for doing that. Next bit is draw the graph of that. So if I, my height. If I'm drawing the graph, you use coordinates. So minus four, five is up here. Make sure you're careful with your axes and your scales to make sure you get exactly where minus four, five is. They are gonna try and penalize you for any mistake you make. Don't make it. Minus three, zero is there. Minus two, minus three is there. Uh, minus one, minus four is there. Zero, minus three. One, zero, and finally two, five. Once you've done that, don't lose one mark by not joining it in a smooth curve. So try and make it smooth, change direction, and come back up again. It's very smooth. So that's supposed to be smooth. My pen isn't the best thing to do with. Hopefully yours is better than that. That would be worth two marks. A total four. So that's already a reasonable return for one question. Next one. Nick has two cars. A uses, is hearing everything you're saying. Car A uses petrol, car B uses diesel. You've got different prices for each one, and it says the table shows the distance he will travel if he uses those. So 10.3 miles if you use petrol, uh, but you'll get 14.6 miles if you use diesel. That's actually true, by the way. If you use a diesel car, you'll generally go further per litre of petrol. Is it worse for the environment? Okay. It is worse for the environment, but you'll go further. So, so 450 <laughs> miles. Here, it's 10.3 miles for each litre. If I do 450 divided by 10.3, it'll tell me how many litres he uses. So how many 10.3 miles go into there will tell me how many litres he uses. So typing that in, it's around about 43, 44-ish. 43 point. So put dot, 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 because you don't want to, you want to leave that on your calculator. Okay, that's long. Okay, it's long, yeah. Second one, 450, you're going to divide it by how many 14.6s go in. Can you not round it? Uh, no, don't round. Oh. Don't round. Well, so 450, in. see how many 14.6s go into the 450, and that'll tell me how many litres he's gone, or how many litres he needs. So 450 divided by 14 is about 30-ish. Mm. What is it? 30.8. 30.8, and then dot, dot, dot. Right, do not round those. Leave them as they are. It then says, work out the difference in total costs. So if we look up here, it costs £1.39 for the petrol. If he's doing 43 litres, you need to do £1.39 and times by how many litres he needs. So 43 point whatever. Leave all of that in your calculator and someone give me an answer. In pounds and pence, please. £60.73 pence. £60.73 pence. If you'd rounded, it would have been a slightly different answer. So you might get one penny out. That is rounded. It is rounded. Oh, no, if you please. rounded that number, I mean. If oh. you rounded the 43. It wasn't, it was... If you left the whole 43 in there and times 1.39, that will give you an exact value. And I've then the you round thing, this bit. I didn't. That's okay, but if you don't want to round this number first, oh, because I did you do might it, right. get a slightly different number at the end. <laughs> so I just that makes sense to people? <laughs> right. Do the same with here. It's £1.47, but you're timesing it by 30.8, which is about 45-ish. Yeah. Yeah. 45. What is it? 45.34? One. Three one, okay. And then it says, <laughs> so in the question, difference, <laughs> so you're taking these away from each other, take away, it's yeah, going to be 15, 15 yeah. pounds 42. Gang. So, 15 pounds 42 is your difference in price, and that will be worth four marks. That's eight marks so far. Good, Sadie. I, I expect you to get them right. I know you don't, but I do. Right, next one. Um, I've been talking for four and a half minutes. Oh no, Stefan is X years old. So Stefan is uh, X years old. Martin is five years younger. So Martin, Martin is Sarah X Brooke. minus five because he's five years younger. 
James is twice as old as Stefan, so you're doubling it, so you get 2x. The sum of their ages, so I'm going to add them all together, is less than 30 years, so you write less than 30. So you've got an inequality. It says work out the oldest he can be. So first, let's simplify the inequality. You've got x, x, and 2x, which makes 4x, minus 5 is less than 30. We want to find out what x is, because that's how old Stefan is, x. So let's find out what x is by adding the 5 and then dividing by 4. And you now know from your PPE, if you can't leave it at 30 over 4, because they didn't give you the mark for um, 17 over 4, if you remember. So you have to actually do the division. 30 divided by 4 is 8.75. Yeah. Sorry, thank you. 35 divided by 4 is 8.75. Mm -hmm. And then if x is 8.75, but he's got to be lower than that, it says as a whole number of years, he has to be the whole number that's lower than there. You want to be as old as possible, so 8 is as old as he can be. Right, how many marks was that worth? Four. Another four, so that's 12 marks already, which is more than some of you got in the entire paper Maddie, two, by did the way. you get it? Right, question four. When Neville saw this car for sale. He got a discount of 25% off the original price. We do not know the original price. So X is our original price. He got 25% off, so it went lower, it went down. Using a multiplier, which is what I've taught you, if you times it by this, that means you've reduced it by 25%. Because if I times it by one, it stays the same. If I times it by one and a bit more, it goes up. If I times it by a bit less than one, it goes down. And because I've gone specifically 25 lower than 100, I've gone down 25%. So this down discount of 25%, this means I'm timesing it by 0 0.75. My answer therefore is 7,200 because that's the price of the car in the sale or in the discount. You want to find the original price, so you rearrange. So you do 7,200 and you divide it by 0 0.75. There are other ways of answering it. I think this is the quickest. What is that, someone? 9,600 pounds. Is that it? Okay, that's it, 9,600 pounds. That's a reverse percentage question. Right, can you press pause on the video?